Well, welcome to the Loud Whisper podcast. We're so excited to have you here. Thank you so very much for having me. I'm excited to be here, you know. It's, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. Really looking forward to it. So I'll tell you a little bit about her and we will jump right, we'll jump, jump, jump right in. So how do I pronounce it? Puti? Puti, yeah. Puti, yes, I got it correct. So my dear sister here, Puti, is all the way from South Africa. She's a chartered accountant, a master NLP practitioner, and a neuroencoding specialist with a passion for empowering women to transform their relationship with money. In her corporate career, she's held roles in finance, chaired audit committees, and led financial transformations. However, she believes that her true calling is coaching women to gain clarity and control over their financial destinies. She's witnessed women struggle, and women face struggles with their money, and she is also dedicated to guiding them towards financial confidence and success. Her unique blend of financial expertise and coaching skills is what really propels and helps her instills clarity and resilience in her clients. She is a firm believer that by fostering financial empowerment, you can create a ripple effect of strength, adaptability for a more secure future. Through speaking engagement, she shared insights on financial resilience and rewriting money stories. She is driven by the belief that financial empowerment is the cornerstone of personal and generational success. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm excited. excited. I'm so excited to jump in. So I will start. Um, I always like to, when, when I first, when my guests come on, to just for you to tell us a little bit about yourself from your own words, your own version, and how you got to where you're at now combining the two disciplines to empower women in, in their financial journeys. Because you have a unique okay. blend of financial expertise and coaching, right? So I just want to know, how did you get here? What made you get to the point where you wanted to pursue this so you can combine these two disciplines and go out there and empower women in their financial um, journeys? Oof, that's a good question. I will try my best, but yeah, as, as just you said, be you yourself, know, as... just be yourself and answer what you can. That's what it is. That's what we're here for. We're having a conversation. Remember, <laughs> yeah. I think, for, you know, it started. So, you know, it started many years ago when I just, from a very young age, I've always known that um, being financially, I'm going to say free in brackets. Okay. Is, uh, it's very empowering. Why I say that? Cause it, it gives you options. So let's start there. Okay. Hence the degree and the career that I took, the career path. Okay. Because as an accountant, you know, you're, you're well employed. That was the vision. You're well employed. You'll be able to take care of yourself. So mm. that's where it starts. Okay. But as for the coaching, which I loved, I loved being an accountant and all of that. So, yeah. but then years ago, my husband had to move to this town that I live in, which is very small. Yeah. And I had to leave corporate South Africa and... I wanted to do that so that we can build the home together, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My my calling and my calling is speaking and teaching. Mm. Always known that I'm called to do that. I I I I speak at women's events. I speak at churches, and as I went through coaching in my life, to you know to, yeah. to develop myself as a businesswoman, as just in life, mm -hmm. the 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 change and the impact that that journey has had on my life, I knew very well that this is something that I can do. And, and this is your coaching journey is what you're saying. My, and, and then just linking the passion for finances and the yeah. freedom that it gives and being comfortable. Uh, and, but key to this is I found, I don't know if you're familiar with a concept called the Ikigai, mm, where you're yes. able to yes. find. So that for me, when I learned about that concept, I knew that this is the thing I, that I'm called to do. And there's a way I can make a living out of it. Yeah. Let's it. talk about that a little bit. Share it with our audience a little bit about that. Somebody, uh, one of the ladies, actually, one of my really good friends who's a business coach, uh, Jen Koffel, she's the one that actually um, introduced me to that. So if you could share that a little bit so people can have a little bit of idea of what it is you're talking about. So the Ikigai is a Chinese or oh, Japanese concept. Japanese. I know it's a, yeah. It's Japanese. Asian. Oh. Japanese. Yeah. Or oh, Chinese, and one of the two. <laughs> and yeah, it's a very interesting concept where 
as a person, you you get to live your purpose, right? And you live your purpose by finding a, the meeting point between your passions, mm-hmm. right? What the world is looking for, what you can get paid for and what you're good at. Mm-hmm. And that's what it is. And once you get all those four in, into place in that center, that's what that's what allows you to find your ikigai. And this is how you live your purpose. So as, yeah. as I said, I, I became a CA because you're good, maybe with numbers. They say you're smart. You know that you do that because that's the career guidance at school. But yeah. Then where's and also the- environment, yeah. family. I know yeah. being born, raised um, back home, it's always like, okay, you get to go to school. You do this. You do an accountant because your aunt, your uncle, they see the accountants. They're doing well. That's the path you should go. Or the lawyers. So I get you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and as life takes you through what life takes you through. Yeah. Uh, and, and learning and educating is, and education has always been really, really, really a, a great value of mine. Mm-hmm. And through this. So I was very well. A lot of my colleagues will go and have their master's degrees and their PhDs in, in, in whatever they study. But I've spent a, like since leaving corporate uh, or since leaving university, I've okay. been learning informally. Yeah. So personally yeah. developing myself. That is my heart for learning. And it's a learning that then grows me from within. And I feel this is what I can sh- share with other women. No, you know, I chose financial, the financial route because, you know, especially when it comes to women and money, mm-hmm. this is that you're scared of. And I'm thinking, I wonder why. Yeah. Because we deal with money issues every single day. Yeah. <laughs> and why are we so afraid of this thing that's with us all the time? Or mm-hmm. that we have to do all the time. So yeah, that's so for me, that is the concept of what what the concept of Ikigai did for me. Okay. Uh, and forever grateful. Yeah. 